to show you one that is very well thought out. This one took about three years. Two years were in the planning stage with kind of a little bit of brainstorming. Then it would go three, four months, maybe a little bit more. And the whole time, the owners were researching what they might like. They were collecting photos and, and, and uh, things like that really kind of just working at it. They weren't ready to move yet, so they were using their time to really figure out the style that was going to produce long-term happiness. So now I'd like to show you the blueprints as we got them from the architect when our work really started. Here you are, and we had been involved in getting the plans to this stage. So the house was situated on a ridge. From this view right here, you can see how the house is pushed off to the side of the ridge and built on the slope. And that gave room for parking. And also, we were able to avoid having a, a drive up garage on this side right here with just seeing the end of the home as you came up to it. And that, that was really nice. And you also notice the arches. These are placeholder trusses the architect put in there. We had come that far. We knew arches were the answer. That's what Scott and Lynn were going to enjoy for a long, long time. And the last thing I want to point out before we move away is from these plans is this porch back here. You'll notice the, the stone pillars coming up and the very high space. And this was the genesis. This is what we worked on first when we started really getting going. You'll notice it's very high. And the whole key to anything we're doing is you have to create stability, a sense of stability. And and also, it's got to feel right for the height. In, in this case, with the post coming up and the roof that high, just was, wow, just so high. So I spent a lot of time thinking up different options, but nothing, nothing worked. I thought about a lower roof, uh, but that would cut out your view here, the, all the light coming in through the, the tall great room wall. I brought the stone way up high. That a stone will give, will give visual strength, visual uh, weight to make an area feel grounded. So this is the entry in the garage and the great rooms right here. And uh, you'll see in the pictures at the very end that even though the house is big, the space is very intimate. It's, it's really something you should go see if you like this style. It's definitely worth, I can arrange a tour for you. And uh, Scott and Lynn would be glad to, glad to open their house to us. Here's the elevations. Let's start with the picture here in back. You'll notice the stone disappeared. They wanted to use the, the timbers instead, in which case there was four big timbers. I don't, I think they're 10 by 12s. And one of the keys to this design, why this looks so balanced, is these sharp angles running up off the, off the side. They're like a 10 by 14 or, or something pretty big. And by, it gives a, a sense of stability it's without the toe post going all the way to the top. And it provides pr stability too. That is lateral bracing. When the wind blows or there's movement this way, that's like a, a simple, simple analogy is like a chair underneath a doorknob. Somebody tries to move that door, it's got to rip the door off the hinges to, to open up. It just levers right into place, it locks things in. And this also then closed up our span, which had the ridge beam and rafters, what it was carrying. Once this came together, it's pretty simple to just scale things down for this entry. And the truss above, 
these this truss is repeated on the inside with uh, the two little side two little side queen posts you might call them but very a uh, very fun process and this process again was about three years two of which was just little bits of brainstorming and fits and starts as it worked out and it's the way I recommend if you have patience for thinking about things that long some people don't some people prefer to just start and go but if you like thinking ahead this is definitely good to get started get started early have fun with it and when you make your decisions then when the ball gets rolling you'll have a better sense a better feel for when your when your decisions are right so here's the back and the great room you see the truss is is mimicked from the the genesis the theme and again i might mention that the, the genesis the theme was all the criteria all the pictures all the discussions we had had went into figuring out what was going to work best for that toughest nut to crack what and so all of them theme the, the style the size the all of that was worked around added taken away tweaked and and that's what gave the whole the whole the nut the 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 theme the base the core that was going to be consistent throughout the whole timber frame elements and here you see the kitchen and the nook and we flattened out the kitchen here because we didn't want it to get as high as the great room and as we go through your design process we may hit something that's real similar to this so that is the well thought out process